Hi everyone, this is WW Dude Passion. Um, you're looking at a Revell 1x48 skill F6F5 Hellcat. I did the, instead of the um, variations that were given in the kit, I decided to do my own kit uh, based on the Mincy the Third variation. So if you look a little closer, this has f 24 kills on each side. Um, it was a very famous Hellcat during World War II. Um, and it's survived and survived by the commander of Air Force and Camarillo, the Southern California wing. So you can see it there for real. Um, the kit was very simple to build. Just a lot of patience was involved, especially when you glue these landing gear doors and the wing into the fuselage. So I mean, that was an easy build. Um, there were. There was one great thing about this kit, and that is the operating features. There were there are three operating features. Obviously, you got the propeller, but that's a given for any kit. Um, but the really cool operating features, which I prefer not to demonstrate because it's so delicate to do, and anything can break. So you can fold the wings backward. You can do the um, folding wings feature. Uh, you can. Pull out the tail wheel back here with a hook placed at the end of the Hellcat. Um, also, you have the um, landing gear you can just use with your fingers and just pull out, pull out, and then twist to retract the landing gear. So, but like I say, if you don't, if you're not careful, these um, landing square parts here, the landing gear door, can snap off easily. So that's why I prefer not to demonstrate any of these operating features because any of these parts can come off and that'll take a lot of work to repair. Um, so yeah, you got rockets and a bomb on each side of the aircraft along with the drop tank. Uh, these decals, except for the um, propeller, the stars, but the decals, such as this Mincy the Third and the Japanese Kills, I had to find them off of eBay. I didn't find any um, online store, only um, hobby stores that sell this variation. So I had to find it on eBay. And I found it on eBay for about 20 bucks. So, um, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, here we go to the tail. You can see the reading saying CAG, which is basically part of the um, decals. And yeah, that's about it. The main drawbacks, as I pointed out, the operating features can snap off parts. The uh, But the main drawbacks are that if you look at the square groove, I'm waiting for this to dry a little bit because I just snapped it off by accident. There's no like, there was no groove in the wing for the square door to fit easily. So the engineering behind this is not exactly very good in terms of convenience for the modeler if they want it in the open position instead of the closed position. Um, also, in the um, cockpit, there's no cockpit floor. You you just basically have a pilot figure with the seat attached, already attached, when you get, get it off the parts trees. And you just basically have to kind of improvise on the seat painting and the pilot painting. So, but they did give a decal for the instrument panel, but like I said, that wasn't fun to do because there was no cockpit floor to actually put the instrument panel on. You just had to kind of glue the fuselage together first and then use a little skill to go use your hands underneath to place that decal in the correct position. Otherwise it was, it was okay. But here's the plane. Thanks for enjoying. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, so feel free to sub please um, subscribe to my channel and feel free to like the video and ask any questions or leave any comments. Hope to see you soon, and I will present another build soon. Bye.